Hi Libra, welcome. Golden Empress Collection here. You guys can call me Golden. We're going to take a look at your March energy, but of course, whenever you find this, that's when it's meant for you. It's timeless. Make sure you guys are checking the description box below for any information on how to contact me, my Etsy shop, and the items that we currently have available, private readings, or Friday Night Love Tarot. That is going to be your weekly energy. There's also Guardian Angel Messages where you can go find other reads as well that might suit you mm, the empress let's do a love reading for you libra the divine feminine energy for you venus is actually in taurus right around this time very much so yep and it could be dealing or creating some sort of ego for you um, it could be creating a situation for you where you feel like you need to take action at this time, Libra. Might be in regards to a King of Pentacles or it might be in regards to your foundation, your stability. You know, I do feel there is a masculine here. This masculine King of Pentacles could also have three separate feminines that they're dealing with. Somebody wanted to know, you know, I'm just going to say it out loud. If their person was cheating, this is three separate women. Like that's, if that's all you needed to know, Libra, you can go now. Okay. I, you can stay with me till the end and we'll figure out where this empress, this strength and this queen of wands or Reina de Bastos is going. But for right now, the ego that sits behind this, Libra, I'm hoping that whatever you're doing is coming from a grounded place. I will say that in regards to whoever this king of pentacles is or your stability, some of you guys, this is an energy of where you take control. You know, it's an energy of where you are a positive influence within the community. Some of you guys, this has hustler vibes all over it. Yes, it does. Okay, look, and this came out in the reverse. So it's the four of pentacles in the reverse with the seven of swords with this empress. And I'm, I'm concerned, you know, with this four of pentacles being in the reverse You've done everything it is that you need to do not to be greedy, not to allow someone to come in here and harm you. This actually, this king of pentacles came back out here. I'm hearing the phrase, take it for what it is. So it's conflict on purpose. <clears throat> I just, I'm looking at the way that I'm laying the cards here, Libra, and it's a zigzag effect. I think that someone has stolen some money here. I think that there is a masculine energy that has, I'm hearing like some sort of curse words with this five of wands and it's, it's an inner, it's not, a, I don't know, it might be a family curse, but I feel it really sits more with a different vibration. I feel it sits with someone in the past and whatever it is that someone tried to make someone own up to here, it's not for them to own up to. It's not for them to value something because it's been deception. It's been lies, Libra. For some of you guys, this is an energy of where you felt like a mother figure didn't take care of you or does not take care of you. And then there's some sort of manipulation that needs to happen in order for somebody to come in I, I don't know it's this, this ego this ego is is something else clarify whatever this ego is right smack dab in the middle with this leo energy five of wands energy it's karmic whatever it is libra two of cups it's karmic it's painful. It's because someone won't take action the way that they're supposed to. Someone has to make a choice here between judgment and the page of wands as to how they're going to move forward. And it might be for something in regards like abundance for your children here. And I, and when it comes to love, two people are just con constantly fighting, constantly conflicted Libra. There's also somebody here who, whose spouse wants to separate from a relationship because there's always fighting. There's divorce on the edge. There is another female here. I keep thinking to myself that at some point there was a, 
a man who kept a wife, but he also kept another person in like in the background. And it was for a sexual relationship, something that someone here was not telling the truth about. Always constantly causing conflict within a relationship. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was thinking to myself, what is this deception that's around the Empress? And it's confusion. It's definitely confusion because look, now you have 777 here with the Four of Cups. I think that the Empress has been holding out, waiting and hoping with this Two of Cups and constantly trying to manage the conflict here. Okay, Empress, Libra, if this is you... You're a very strong individual. And I think that everybody, like when they look at your show, they see you as someone who holds it together. You know, not necessarily willing to give in to depression here. You're you're a fighter. You're someone that is about us. I mean, you're someone who would fight this. You you have knowledge and you have the ability to stop things that don't that you don't find value in is what it feels like here. I mean, you have a lot of court cards here. So I think that you're becoming a much stronger person as well. I also think that you're giving something a chance here. Some of you guys, if someone has told you that they're pregnant, they're not. And it's going to cause conflict because they're going to see that you don't necessarily want children. I believe, right, they're planning on it and you're possibly not. But here, it takes two to tango. So what I'm going to say to you is if you don't take precautions, this person is not, someone's going to end up pregnant here. And it's going to be the person that wants to be pregnant. Okay. Take that as it resonates. Yeah. Somebody wants to see you. Not sure how to go about coming to, to see you, though. Uh -huh. I also think to myself that you guys, whatever this is, especially if it's ego, with the way that you are choosing love relationships in your life, whether or not you're choosing people that constantly want to argue with you, you are at a point now where these soulmate relationships and conflicts are, I feel like you're just done. You feel the weight and you know that it's time to transition into something new here. That's, that's what I feel. I feel like as long as spirit allows you the opportunity to stop and smell the roses for a second, you will, Libra. You will. Because there's something here. And I'm thinking that there is some sort of bond. Again, maybe you don't see the bond for what it is. But there's someone here that shows you how to be strong and how to handle the way that life comes at you. Yeah, the moon in reverse. This king of pentacles, the la luna is, or la luna, it's just coming out because you also have the world card. This king of pentacles, whatever it was that they tried to get away with the conflict in the relationship, if there was any sort of, you know, sensual, sexual conquest that someone had around you, Libra, that's now dying down. Okay. I do feel like someone has exposed something here with this moon in reverse. What's the exposure for this king of pentacles? The devil, the evilness. Yeah, the even the evilness being exposed and it was ego within a relationship. I'm thinking to myself somebody possibly tried to show off for somebody, but what they didn't realize is that this person had a mission or some sort of ill-fated energy that sat around them. OK, somebody could have been thinking that this was a divine feminine energy that was really empowering them. But really, that's not what it was they, they were doing. They were actually bringing out. What is this? What did they bring out? Fear, fear with the devil card, fear and lack of stability when it comes to caring about priorities in life I'm telling you and I I feel like somebody with this has kind of hooked up with an energy that makes people doubt themselves with the four of cups that I saw at the bottom of the deck and that doubt is extremely unhealthy because people or someone here and it could be this couple 
is ruminating and making plans. Why, why, what are they making plans to do? Because I know there's toxicity here. The, the feminine has, a, has gumption. I will say that. The feminine doesn't want to be torn down. But there's a masculine here that's not making it easy. This masculine is extremely deceptive. The feminine is headed towards making money. Okay, The feminine sees this generational vibration understands the give and take. There's some sort of karmic balance between all of this. You have the five of wands and the two of cups. This is a conflicted relationship that requires someone to use like support. Some of you guys might even need to get technical support involved, maybe some sort of counseling session to find stability and peace with the direction that you want to head. Because I feel like the devil is testing and baiting you. OK, going to try to trigger your feelings with this six of cups, going to make you really, you know, hone in and shine in on why you are dealing with other people is either intimate relationships. There could be some sort of an inheritance here I'm telling you some of you guys, there's a toxic vibration where there's a conversation where someone's lying about what they're doing. Somebody's lying about money or needing money. Somebody has money, but wants your money too. four of wands. Six of Cups, Four of Wands, at the home, Queen of Pentacles, Hangman Energy. So Libra, Six of Cups, I told you, your feelings exposed, right? The other people around you realizing what it is that they want to do. Making plans towards a relationship only to find out that there's going to be some sort of burden here. I think that there's a masculine that has two people fighting with each other. I truly do. And I, cause I see three of wands getting ready to come out here, but I, whatever this master plan is to be deception or to be deceptive in a relationship or lie or try to get away with something. This is, this is also someone who has been abused. I see abuse here, Libra. And I, when I say abuse, I mean, with this strength card, I see a sexual abuse here, five of wands. And I, I don't think that the masculine was someone that protected whoever this person is. And I don't necessarily think that whoever was abused looks at it as sexual abuse the way that they should. That's an interesting read. But there's an epiphany coming about that. There's a feminine warrior here, but then there's a masculine that is actually extremely toxic, extremely toxic. And their secret relationship or relationships with other individuals are all starting to come out. There could be something here where someone has told many lies, right? Something that was not of value towards an empress here that was in a relationship and really had to fight and struggle to let the truth be known that someone was as toxic as they were. And this person is stepping into abundance and blessed and beauty. And you might be watching this. This might be you as well. Okay, Libra. Um, but you're watching something happen. And with all of the past karmic energy that sits with this, it's going gonna, it's gonna to backfire in a way that requires somebody to pay more attention to detail. Right? Yeah, because here's the eight, here's the pentacle, here's the drama. There's some sort of financial drama that's going on around you. Conversations about money constantly, consistently. Some of you guys, I feel like you're working towards a relationship with somebody. Maybe it's the money that it takes to actually marry this particular person. It could be that, you know, you guys started having children first um, and you never really got to have a wedding. So there could be some talk around that as well. There could be a wedding planner. She's a little costly, but I think that uh, the love of your life will try to make it happen for you. I, I do see that for some of you. Like if you guys never got a wedding or something like that. So, and I'm hearing, but I am hearing maybe your spirit guides are saying that's a waste of money. It's frivolous. They said, please pay attention to the economy. You can use it for other things. That's what I'm saying. Tower moment here with somebody's financial situation you also have the knight of pentacles here 
you have a queen of wands energy that's going to go through something extremely unexpected or they have some sort of unexpected windfall that leads towards abundance all right this is a long-term money or if this person goes through some sort of and I'm saying if this person is the one that's healed enough to help you get through some sort of generational past or history um I see healing effort coming towards you somebody somebody here is possibly going to offer you some sort of an assistant and that all works out in your favor you could have a masculine that gets really upset about that if this if this feminine energy is coming in to help you Libra the masculine is upset. I don't know why, but it's there's more of a jealousy factor here than anything. And I don't think they truly understand the relationship between you and someone else who would be more of a mentor and a guide or possibly a sounding board for you. Okay. All right. So with that, we're going to go ahead and head over into the Vimeo extended link um, because this Knight of Pentacles that's right here with this toxicity and the truth coming out about this, I want to dig into this more. But I also know that you have money coming your way after some sort of trial and tribulation. So I feel like what they're saying is don't get stuck for too long in any sort of ego transition or change or just thoughts about a lover. That's causing you too many issues. You got to move past that ego balance, okay, and find something new and expected and change your whole perspective, change that whole life shift, all right? So this is for you. I will see you guys on the Vimeo extended link below. Um, for, you know, this, and it's going over to Vimeo. So I appreciate the support there. Don't forget guardian angel messages is, um, the place where we need you to go like, and subscribe because once we get to a thousand, then we get to go live over there too. And that's the fun part. <laughs> so bye guys. Peace and elbow grease.